democratization of photography and videography, or the democratization of, of, of technology, really, has created this atmosphere in, in creative industries where you need to be more than just a technician. You need to be smart about what you're doing and what you're saying and why you're saying it. I mean, there are, there's usually teams of people involved, you know, like writers, art directors, the videographer, and, you know, in those kind of structured environments, it's, it's a little bit easier because you kind of can depend on someone else to, to do part of that job. At one point, you know, photographers really were kind of relegated to shutter monkeys. You know, your job was just to press the shutter and the art director would say yes or no kind of thing. Whereas now, um, you know, the, a lot of ad agencies have fallen and or, or been really scaled down and you, know, you need to, to be able to like press the button yourself. You, know, you need to become an art director, you need to become a, a communicator, you need to become a copywriter, you need to become an editor, you need to see the message, you need to understand you know, who you're talking to or what you're, or the brand you're talking about and, and tell that story, you know, to become a, a storyteller. That's what, that's what the democratization of this technology has done. It's made a lot of really great storytellers. I think photography is still very relevant, it's just not very valuable anymore, at least commercially. You know, everyone has a camera and everyone should have a camera. A camera is the new pen. I think uh, everyone should learn how to use a camera. Pictures are, are, are everywhere, we kind of take them for granted now and that's, that's great, you know, people are posting them on, on, uh, online, on Facebook, on blogs. Uh, you know, pictures are like, uh, like pieces of writing really. Um, there's, there's good pictures, bad pictures, just like there's you know, good and bad poetry. Above and beyond the technical kind of aspects, you know, there's marketing, there's finance, there's networking, there's, it, 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 it all adds up, you know, and it, it takes up a lot of your headspace, you know, and, and how you define, you know, what you're doing, you know, sometimes I'll just be sitting on the couch, you know, just thinking, <laughs> and just like, did I work today? Technically, yes, but I, you know, I drank four cups of tea and thought really hard. And that thinking process really can't be undervalued because, you know, just going out and just shooting something is, is kind of a shortcut to failure. As kind of a, a natural storyteller, I found that you know, social engagement, not just social media, social media is this magic word people use to you know, add on you know, a website or a blog to bump up the cost on a development. <laughs> but you know, engagement, you know, brand engagement, storytelling, these kinds of things are, are really what I was into, as, as, at least as an editorial guy. You know, I'd go and I'd, I'd meet really cool people. I'd shoot in really awesome locations. My new job title now that I'm trying on uh, is visual media strategist. And there's a lot of elbow room there. A lot of people kind of like cock their heads a little bit like, what? And I have to really talk about, I have to explain myself and defend that an awful lot, mostly because it is kind of a new way of doing things in media. And uh, people are, are just too used to like, you know, simple labels, photographer, videographer, copywriter. But you, if, you, especially in Vancouver, you need to be all of those things. And if you're not, you're not really providing your client with the best possible value and you're, you're cutting yourself short on a lot of opportunities. My name is Trevor Jansen and I'm a visual media strategist. <laughs>